Karthik has been making the most of every opportunity following The Apprentice 2016. In addition to enjoying his newfound fame, by appearing on shows like Celebrity Big Brother, he started his very own business, Alifaguru, in January. The company was built on the business idea he pitched to Lord Sugar, Karen Brady and Claude Littner last year. Point one two. Rebecca Jeffrey Rebecca made headlines after she gave a very honest reason as to why she was fired by Lord Sugar last year. Thankfully, that hasn't affected her work-wise. Since she left the competition, Rebecca has continued to head up her company Fibex, which provides flexible branding, design and copywriting for businesses of all sizes. Judging by her social media profiles, the business is doing pretty well. Point one three. J.D. O'Brien BBC Boundless Advertisement Continue reading Bello after he was fired by Lord Sugar, J.D. said of his departure Nice guys don't win The Apprentice. Since then, has kept a relatively low public profile, while focusing on his beachwear brand Uncle. The company has just 336 followers on Twitter.14. Mukai Nwari BBC Boundless Renamer Mukai probably the snazziest dressed candidate The Apprentice has ever seen well, we're guessing he wasn't a huge fan of all the attention he received off the back of the show, pretty much as soon as he was fired, the business guru packed his bags and moved all the way to Japan, where he now works as a senior manager in digital marketing.15. Alexandra King Alexandra sensationally quit The Apprentice last year, claiming the experience was too overwhelming and stressful. Following her dramatic exit, she went back to heading up her consultancy company Alexandra King Limited. She is also a regular speaker, presenter and trainer at industry events, and has worked with a wide range of organizations, spanning from the NHS to Google.16. Natalie Hughes BBC Boundless Natalie was one of the first candidates to get fired last year. Since then, her personal life has received more attention than any of her dealings in business. In July, the Scottish Sun reported that her husband Christopher O'Malley was given a six and a half year jail sentence for being part of a £700,000 heroin ring. Natalie was not involved, and when asked to comment on the case, said I'm just a hard working lassie trying to better myself. The court case has nothing to do with me. I wasn't even at the court case. I have nothing to say about it. Natalie continues to run her beauty parlor the VIP salon in Glasgow.17. Oliver Nolos or BBC Boundless Competing in The Apprentice 2016 didn't have a huge impact on Oliver's life. Before the show, he was running a specialist food wholesale company with his business partner Thomas Appler. After the show, he returned to his job and the business has now been in operation for almost 11 years.18. Michelle Nizil Michelle was the first candidate to get the boot last series, but clearly, it didn't exactly harm her career. Today, the business guru is enjoying mountains of success. Not only is her independent mortgage consultancy still performing well, in June she was elected vice president of Arla Property Mark the UK's professional body for letting agents. She also regularly appears on BBC Radio Oxford as a finance expert and writes columns for regional newspapers. The Apprentice 2017 launches on BBC One, Wednesday, October 4 at 9 p.m. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our at Digital Spy Twitter account and yeah, we're all set.